All right, hello, and what is going on, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back in Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Now, you guys seem to enjoy the very first episode, so we're going to go ahead and jump right back into this game, as you guys have requested. And we're going to jump back into the career mode and try to get uh, try to get a little bit further ahead and also try to uh, get a little bit of a better handle on the game as it is. Now, this is really cool because, honestly, it gives the game a little bit of a... Like, it gives the game... A, a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra, f like, cool feel to it, because you're not, you know, you're not constrained to a, uh, you know, to one specific building the whole time. Let's see, road to diesel engine depot, north station, west station. Where does this even take us? Oh, wow. The port up here, dude. You know, even though it's a, it's a, like a mechanical simulator game, the, like, the, the look of the environments is actually pretty good. Like, I'm pretty impressed. Slow the train down just a little bit. Like, a good bit. We don't need the brakes all the way on. <laughs> I tried to brake and it was just like... Like, I tried to brake and it locked the whole thing up, like, entirely. So I guess you have to... Oh, you can change the switches. Got it. So that's how you change. I see. This is cool. This is cool. So we can decide exactly where we want to go based on how we have these switches set up. All right. Before we go that much further. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to be. <laughs> we're going to be mean to this little Land Rover for a second. But no. Uh, oh, we have to be moving. There we go. That's the way I want to go. Because I want to see what's up here if we go through the north tunnel. That's awesome. Dude, you could actually use the horn. That is... That, that, that's cool. Well, look at that. I mean, seriously. Oh, come on. Bump your power back up, dude. Bump your power back up. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, bro? Castle? Okay. Uh. Can't change that. Some cool scenery here. West Asia Valley, Tokyo Station. What? What? Well, that's new. <laughs> what I'm curious about is, so if we pull up the map, Great Lakes, Castle... Steam locomotives, East Main Station, West Main Station, Mountain Exit, Diesel Engine Depot's all the way down there. That's the Electric Engine Depot. So if we had gone, I see, and then the Steam Depot's up there. Only thing is, okay, let's try East Great Lakes, Mountain Exit. Yeah, definitely. Mountain exit, so we go over the mountain pass, and we can head over to the, uh, the electric, or not electric, sorry, that would be the steam area, which there should be some pretty cool stuff over there, actually. I feel like we're going a little fast for this particular track, but at the same time, this game's got a hell of a sense of speed, so you really feel like you're, like, you feel like you're booking. The thing is, I don't really know what, let's see. Oh, crap. Stop, 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 please. Please. There. Okay, now go. <laughs> now go. Right? Yes. Sweet. And let me make sure. So that takes up this way, up around. Steam locomotives, South Pass. Oh, look at this. God, I have to admit, this is a really cool game world. A really cool game world. Even though I don't quite understand the mechanics of it yet, they won't let us go... Okay. Well, Steam Locomotive's South Pass. It stops. 
Whoa, look at this bridge. Holy crap. Like I told you guys before, the um, the in-game, like just the look of everything is just legit. I wish you could view those while you were uh, while you were stopped, though. Let's move very slowly, very slowly. North Steam Locomotive Depot. Only problem it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, we could go. I guess we could go to the North Electric Engine Depot. I tell you what, let's go and see what happens if we go towards the steam area and because this won't let us turn left here. We can't make this switch to the left, so it'll let us kind of go near it, but it won't let us actually go into it. Oh, music changed. Turn real quick. I wonder if the train can actually like go off. No, turn left. No. Why? God, it's right there. Why you do this? Okay. So it's sending us north. It's sending us hella north. South Electric Engine Depot. Where does that actually even send us? It just sends us kind of like right by it. So, God, I wonder if we need an actual like electric train to go in there. That probably would make, I mean, that would make sense, but ooh, interior view and everything. Dynamic braking and throttle. God, I don't even like, I've never even seen the freaking inside of a train. That's crazy. That's, yeah, that's nuts. God, there's a lot of controls in there. <laughs> There's like a lot of stuff to manage. I mean, and I have friends that, you know, they they work with this kind of stuff. And I'm like, dude, there's a lot of stuff to manage in there. Oh crap. Oh. But we can go backwards though. We can go backwards. That's one of the advantages of being able to kind of go whichever way you want is that you can you can reverse. You can actually reverse really freaking fast too. Now we wanna switch. Oh nope, it won't let us. Damn, dude. I guess you have to either unlock those or, or, or something else because really, really I kind of just wish we could move to some other trains. But that does give us a nice little uh, nice little look at the in-game world though because I really did want to explore and see actually what it was like to drive these trains around. And I think that like, I think you can get used to, uh, I think you can get used to driving around in this game. Okay, now I have no clue which way I'm going now. Oh god. Tokyo Station West. All right. That's supposed to be to that side. Stamp. Well, there's nobody here, never mind. I was like, never mind, there's like nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing here. So, let's see. Diesel engine depot. Uh yeah. That'll work for me. Honestly, I think we'll just, yeah, we'll just head back to the diesel depot and all the way back into the diesel depot so we can have a nice, we've done a lap, we've done a lap of the in-game world now. And I'm honestly kind of glad we did because that gives us not only an opportunity to see the game world as it is, but like, but see like what, what else you have, to, you know, what else there is to do in this game and, um, and actually see that the, the in-game world is actually pretty cool. It's, it's. It's pretty well done. It's it especially for a simulator like targeted game. Usually these games don't really have that that well of a sorted out you know open world. They just kind of make your your garage and then they leave you with that. But this no actually this actually has a pretty cool little world to it. Wonder if there's a speed limit for heading in here. 
I highly doubt it. Well, I actually never mind. I I I, I assume there is. The only thing is, we're not gonna follow it. We're gonna barrel straight in. Hello. Just driving the service vehicle and return to the diesel engine depot. Yes, I do. Yes, my friend. So there's a little tour of the game world, and I, I do want to go ahead and do one more little job real quick. So we can say we've done like, yeah, I did two jobs in this particular video. Alright, let's see. Uh we expect a truck failure or suspect a truck failure. And we've got that one. And now we should, well, we have to go out and find it, I'm guessing. 